does analytics apply? One of the important approaches to the integration of data sources is based on a data warehouse architecture. In this architecture, data coming from the multiple external data sources are extracted, filtered, merged, and stored in a central repository called a data warehouse. Data are also enriched by historical and summary information. From a technological point of view, a data warehouse is a huge database from several hundred of gigabytes to several dozens of terabytes. Thanks to this architecture, users operate on a local, homogeneous, and centralized data repository that reduces access time to data. Moreover, a data warehouse is independent of EDS that may be temporarily unavailable. However, a data warehouse has to be kept out to date with respect to the content of EDS by being periodically refreshed. The content of a data warehouse is analyzed by the so-called online analytical processing or OLAP applications for the purpose of discovering trends, patterns of behavior and anomalies as well as for finding hidden dependencies between data. The outcomes of this analysis are then the basis for making various business decisions. The market analysis of demand and supply is one of the important steps in taking strategic decisions in a company. Likewise, an analysis of the development and course of diseases as well as the impact of different medications on the course of illnesses is indispensable in order to choose the most efficient methods of treatment. Many other applications include, among others, stock market, banking, insurance, energy management, and science. Data warehouses and OLAP applications are core components of decision support systems. Metrics and measurements Objective means by which your company can measure progress and business analytics impact. First, increase productivity and market share. Increase retention and conversion rate. Increase wallet share. Increase customer satisfaction. Increase average order size or number of products. Increase average spend per customer. Decrease operational costs. Decrease time to decision. And lastly, optimize human capital. When is analytics not practical? First, when there is no data. Second, when there's no precedent. Next, when history is misleading. When the decision maker has considerable experience. When the variables cannot be measured. And lastly, even though they are not always visible, analytics are valuable enough that they should be the first rather than the last resort in making decisions. First, when there's no data, some decisions must be made before data can be gathered systematically. When a firefighter is in a burning building trying to decide whether the floor is about to collapse, he has to gather data rapidly by observing his surroundings. He is unlikely to perform a logistic regression analysis. Second, 
when there's no precedent. If something has never been done before, it is hard to get the data about it. The obvious analytical response in such a situation is to perform a small-scale randomized test on the idea and see if it works. Next, when history is misleading. Even when an ample precedence exists as the fine print on the stockbroker adds ones, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results, improbable, unpredictable events called black swans by Nassim Nicholas Talon are immune to analysis. When the decision maker has considerable experience, sometimes a decision maker has made a particular decision often enough to have internalized the process of gathering and analyzing data. Next, when the variables cannot be measured, some decisions are difficult to make analytically because the key variables in the analysis are hard to measure with report. And lastly, even though they are always feasible, analytics are valuable enough that they should be at first rather than the last resort in making decisions. In many intuitive organizations, Analytics are merely a rationalization, wherein data is selected to support a decision that's already been made. Effective business analytics is a focus for business leaders across the globe in ever-increasing numbers. A 2011 report by the McKinsey Globe Global Institute Projects that the United States needs 1.5 million more data literary managers to meet the demands of the data-driven enterprise. In addition, during IBM's 2012 IBM Partner World Conference, its CEO predicted that analytics will be the thread that weaves together front and back office systems in order to give companies that harness huge volumes of unstructured data a competitive business advantage. There are several key components worth noting in our de definition that may differ from more traditional definitions of business intelligence, research, web analytics, information retrieval, data mining, or other related disciplines. First, the amount of data available to business is overwhelming and is growing at an exponential rate, and it is easy to enter analysis, paralysis, or drift into intellectual curiosities. Therefore, organizations must articulate and prioritize the key questions they want business analytics to answer. In other words, business analytics is most useful when it is predictive and provides a lens into the future regarding likely business outcomes. If you recall from our definition, all effective business analytics should be grounded in key business questions and objectives. Those business questions and objectives do not care about your organization's structure, that some of the data are in finance, some are in marketing, and some are in product. Those business questions simply demand an answer, and whichever organization can answer them consistently with speed and accuracy will win. Will that be you, you or your competition? Even though business analytics is relatively new field, we see it as having the potential for great organizational impact and importance, much beyond that of the more traditional and isolated reporting function 
Research Department or Business Intelligence Related Activities. There are three challenges from outside. Environment, competition, and customers. Environment. We all know that economic environment has been more intense and challenging than ever before. Competition. It is part of addressing competitive threats is to monitor and stay one step ahead of your competition. Tracking, analyzing, and integrating everything you know about your competitors into the analytics of your own company. Lastly, customers. Another business challenge that is leading to an increase in companies relying on business analytics to drive their strategy is that customers are becoming more fickle and loyalty to products and services is rarer than ever before. With customer, loyalty elusive the number of sales and marketing messages seen by your customers is also ever increasing and is another business challenge driving the importance of business analytics. In the United States, marketers send more than 90 billion pieces of direct mail each year, trying to influence the behavior of customers. Also, the Radicati Group estimates that nearly 90 trillion emails are sent each year and certainly a large percentage of this are from businesses trying to get your customers to try their products. Furthermore, eMarketer expects that U.S. online advertising spending will grow 23.3% to $39.5 billion during 2012, pushing it ahead of advertising spending in print, newspapers, and magazines. Challenges from within Inside the organization, Evolving business analytics, less subject matter experts, external factors, and internal factors. First, inside the organization. Whatever your specific outside challenges driving you toward business analytics, there are also challenges for analytics inside the organization. In other words, how do you unleash the power of analytics to address the business challenges that are most critical to your organization while overcoming typical pitfalls inside your company. Second, evolving business analytics. The field of business analytics is evolving. It is becoming less about data silos and more about the integration of different data assets across the company. Next, less subject matter experts there is a skills shortage for knowledgeable data professionals it is expected to get worse not better external factors business analytics is being driven by several external factors such as increased competition decreased customer loyalty economic woes and the proliferation of new media and lastly the internal factors business analytics requires many internal factors to succeed including strong executive leadership support for analytics effective technology infrastructure and tools alignment with corp corporate priorities and effective communication across departments. Many internal challenges will crop you on the way. These are just some of the internal challenges a business analytics function must rise to meet in order to become business relevant, fast, insightful, and predictive. Have a bias toward action and become part of the corporate culture. The secret of success.
Possibly, the best garden secret in business analytics is that in practice, they must establish business analytic culture, understand analytic in play, and recognize the insights as a competitive advantage. Establish business analytic culture when one looks globally, some organizations seem not to mistrust analytics. Somehow, they seem to create renewable value through applying their competencies across many different business problems. Somehow, they succeed not once but repeatedly. Second, understand analytic in play. Change comes from two directions, top-down and bottom-up. If the organization already has the right management culture, using insight as a competitive advantage is relatively straightforward. As Jack Welch is reputed to have said, an organization's ability to learn and translate that learning into action rapidly is the ultimate competitive advantage. Lastly, recognize the insights as a competitive advantage. In these organizations, applying business analytics is relatively easy. There is management commitment to the use of insight. There is an understanding of the rule analytics plays in creating competitive advantage. And there is often a culture of continuous improvement. For those of us lucky enough to work in this context, life is easy. And somehow, they translate their experience and skills into sustainable competitive advantage. As researchers such as Thomas Davenport and Jean Harris have rightly pointed out, overall success can often be linked to a variety of factors including organizational structure, management commitment, and successful strategic planning. However, it is often where the rubber hits the road. That's the greatest impact can occur. Analytics is a multidisciplinary activity. The value from insight comes not from the activity but from the execution. Often, this crosses a variety of departments within an organization. Few analytics groups have responsibility for both the insight creation and the execution of that insight.